you're not trading one addiction for another. You're just trading what you do and who you really are. I mean, if you look at yourself from a military military background, I mean, the discipline, the relentlessness, you have to have the attention to de- attention to detail. It's what happens is when people make that transition from one thing to the other, they exhale, they forget who they really are. They become somebody that they're not. All right. And, you know, when you're talking about your finances, you talk about, especially in this age and this time, something that you have to be relentless on or have somebody who has that knowledge. You have to keep a very close eye on what's going on there, because, you know, in a blink of an eye, it can it can go in a different direction that you don't want. You don't want it to go. And it becomes that it becomes that trust that you have to find somebody, a relationship with an individual who knows what they're, who knows what they're talking about, who can guide, who can guide you in that right direction. But that trust has, that trust has to be earned. And then you go in your, you know, you go in your line of work, you know, when when you guys are, you know, in that wall or in that pit or whatever it is, you got to trust every individual that's there. Right. If you can't, something, something's going, something's going to go wrong. And now what happens, happens is when people try to make that transition from competitive sports, military, whatever it may be, into competitive financing and understand how to equate that and make money, they have a hard time finding that addiction and they have a hard time finding that trust with that person. So once they have that trust, then they can have that competitive fire come back again because they're so accustomed to doing things on their own. It's hard for them to let go and let somebody else kind of th- take things over for them. That's where you guys come in. Yeah, when I was watching uh, Kobe's tour and every time his last year playing in the NBA, every stop, every place, it was the last time being there. I mean, there was a, there was a ceremony just thanking Kobe for his career and what he brought to the game. And I remember when he came into Charlotte and Michael uh, said a message to Kobe. He said, listen, Kobe, you know, no more basketball after this. You just have to find a way to translate your competitive drive to something else. And next thing you know, he's he's an investor. He's he's investing in, in companies, and and it looks like business to him is his new business, sport. Would you business, is it, business is his kind of business, and you know, being in uh, director directing of movies and animation and that stuff. You know, those are things that people didn't know about him while he was a uh, while he was you know trying to be or becoming the one of the best basketball players out there. But, you know, that time his focus was basketball. It was all in on ba- on basketball. Now he's taking that competitive thing and putting it into, into something else. And, you know, an interesting comment that he made is that he says, listen, if I leave this planet and the only thing I'm known as is this, you know, one of the greatest basketball players, I've cheated myself and I've cheated everybody else around. So you hear a person, you hear a person say that. And, you know, that that's that that's that competitive nature. This you know, even though one thing has ended, all right, so it's the beginning of it's the beginning of something. It's the beginning of something else, especially at, you know, at the age that these individuals are at. It was the same thing with Michael when he stopped playing. When he stopped playing, the competitiveness was like still in the business. And, you know, the, the brand, the brand Jordan brand still making the number one selling shoe out there, always wanting to own a team and trying to constantly you know, make that team uh, a champion just like he did when uh, he was a player. So it, it's never lost. It's just people have a hard time finding a different avenue to put it in because they're so used to just doing one thing all, all the time. If you like that clip, watch this next short clip right here. And to watch the full episode, click right here. Until we meet again, continue to live smart, continue to love smart, and be money smart today.